Hello and welcome to my SharePoint branding and design video blog. My name is Eric Swenson and you can follow me on Twitter at Eric J. Swenson or on my blog at ericswenson.blogspot.com. In today's short session, I wanted to highlight an interesting new feature within SharePoint 2013. This would be the ability to drag and drop links directly into the quick launch or top navigation. Let's get started. So in this example, I'm going to show you how you used to be able to do it uh, in SharePoint 2010. So this is just a normal team site. Uh, what you would have to do is go under Site Settings, then click on Quick Launch or the top link bar. Then you could add a new navigation link. And this is like a 12-step process. I mean, you have to go and know what the URL is. You have to type in the description, uh, figure out what if there's any different headings. And it was really cumbersome. So in the new version, what you can do is you go up to your site here, all you have to do is click Edit Links. And directly in here, you can then add a new link, which then again, you can type in the address. Now the new option, you'll see here it says drag and drop link here. What you could actually do is actually, if you, if you wanted to link to a specific document that's always in the left side nav here, I could actually just drag this document and actually add it over here it automatically adds it to the links on the left hand side. You can hit save. Now you can use this really anywhere you want. So if I want to view the site contents, um, say I wanted to add a link to these announcements. Normally what you'd have to do is modify this list to show it in the quick launch. Well we don't have to do that anymore. We can actually edit the links and just drag this over here to say you know what I want to show my announcements as a top navigation item. You can make it a sub navigation item underneath this so it's two levels deep. Once you're done you can click on save and then you can go back to your team site. Now if I wanted to click on this link it automatically brings me to my list items. Now you can also add items directly in here so if I hit edit links you can actually move these items directly underneath your announcements. Hit save. We'll go back to my site click on item two, you'll see it brings me directly to my announcement. So this actually saves a lot of time. So you can also do this with a top navigation as well. So if we go under site contents, edit links, and say I wanted to have a link to my documents up here, I can simply just drag it up here and hit save. Go back to my team site, click on my documents, and there's my document list. So looking at a publishing site, um, I'm actually using the Manage Metadata Navigation for these links here. Um, same thing happens here. So if I was to click on Site Contents and uh, Pages, say I have a variety of pages that I want to show on my left side navigation here. All I'd have to do is click on Edit Links. I can then uh, throw in some of my pages directly in the left nav here, uh, some up in Department, some up in uh, the uh, team sites area here. So what this actually does is it actually edits the uh, the taxonomy and the uh, terms uh, directly in the manage metadata. So if I go under site settings and go under navigation and look under my terms here, you'll actually see that it actually added these as terms within the site navigation. So it's not just th sort of throwing a link in there, it's actually adding the terms uh, within the term set. So um, that's actually pretty cool. So you can go in here and you can edit them directly in this view, or you can go back into the site and uh, modify them directly. So um, if you also edit the links here, you could move them around so I can uh, change the term. So from one uh, term set into another, uh, and then hit save. And once you're here, you can then click on the, the link, go directly to your articles, uh, that sort of thing. So a lot of um, times people will have many pages that they want to highlight in their site, and it takes a while to kind of figure out what the URL is and you know paste it in there. This way you can just drag it right in there and have it available uh, at any time. And that concludes our uh, quick little session around uh, drag and drop navigation.